You always look up there for names for some reason. Uh, what was his name? Whenever you look for someone's name in your head, what you do is you enter this room where there's windows right round the room and the person that you're trying to remember is outside the room and they keep walking past the window and you get glimpses of them every once in a while because you see people go, what was his name? Uh, no. <laughs> ah, no, it's gone again. No. Uh. No, no. Uh. Oh, it's gone again. No. But sometimes it's someone you know really well. Do you ever forget someone you know really well? And then you look everywhere for their name. What the fuck? <laughs> what is his name? Oh my God. But I met this guy I knew really well at a party. He walked up to me. He just caught me off guard. I was looking at something else. I turned around and he was on me. And I knew him really well. And he went, hello, Jamon. And I went, oh my God, what's his name? Just went into a state of panic. And then once you panic, then it's gone, totally. All the windows shutters, they shut at that point and you're not seeing anything. And I'm doing the alphabet in my head, A, B, C. I got to the end of the alphabet, I still hadn't got it. Had to go back to the start. Then I turn around and a friend of mine, Martin, he's walking towards me and I knew he didn't know him. And I thought, I'm done for. As soon as Martin turns up, he'll expect me to introduce him. It'll be obvious at that moment I've forgotten his name. But just before Martin turned up, I had this brilliant idea. I whispered in the guy's ear whose name I forgot. I went, oh no, here comes this bloke. I've forgotten his name. You introduce yourself. <laughs> he gave me the wink. Hi, I'm Hugh. What's your name? My friend said, Martin. And then he started to whisper in my ear, Martin, it's Martin. <laughs> I'm thinking it's Hugh is what it is. 